Hello everyone, how are you doing? It's your boy Dave Partner. Now, if you're working with a Laravel app, uh, this is going to save you a lot of um, embarrassment, alright, and possible uh, hacking. Um, this screen must be uh, familiar to you. This is basically the error screen, uh, maybe whoops, uh, but it displays an error when your program, your code is not able to run, it throws this error. Especially if you have your .m file and set it to uh, set the bug to true, right? The way to turn off this place is to set the bug to false in your .env file. But that's not why I'm making this video. Why I'm making this video is at the bottom here. Whenever this error throws, your your users might see it. Assuming you forgot to turn off uh, the bug, your users might see it, and what they're gonna see here. Is everything in your .env file, all your passwords, tokens, everything is gonna show here. So, but as you can see in mine, even though an error is showing, it is still safe because um, my users can't see anything. Look at it. everything is turned off. Everything. Now, what uh, the reason I'm making this video is to show you how to turn off this thing so that even if your users mistakenly run into an error, maybe while you're debugging, they won't see any of your keys. So the way to do that is to come to your code. <coughs> Sorry. Go to config folder, go to app, all right? You're going to paste this uh, somewhere in look at your app starts with a return. All right? So these things are arrays so that they're separated with comma. With comma. So find somewhere in this whole file and put this. I like to put this under um, the bar. All right. Before you do that, make sure that it is not uh, present. I'm using Laravel 5.7, 5.8, and um, I searched for this. It's not present in this file, as you can see. You search, All right? The bug underscore blacklist. It is not present. Then you create a new one. Remember, there has to be a comma with the variable above, and then you have to put a comma below. Create a new one, and then you assign all cookies should um, block. Blacklist all cookies, blacklist all server variables, blacklist all env. Now note that you can manually blacklist, assuming you don't want to blacklist everything. There is a way to manually blacklist uh, things. So look at this. This answer on uh, Stack Overflow shows that um, here you can put underscore env these are the variables in your env password your env that you would like to specifically blacklist all right these are your server variables you would like to specifically blacklist and this is your pass the password you would like to specifically blacklist so but i don't want this i want to blacklist everything so um, you use this other method to blacklist everything i hope this saves you some serious uh, embarrassment someday all right and then uh, you are able to solve it for some reason I don't know why uh, Laravel has this and um, it's not uh, it's not implemented in this app file so let me know what you think in the comment section below and we can talk about it don't forget to subscribe to this channel uh, so that whenever I release any new update like this you will be the first to get it turn on the uh, subscription uh, notification below beside the subscription button and I set it to all alright thank you very much see you